Skywatch Media News for July the 6th, 2021. A tremendous event may soon take place on the sun that could kickstart the next solar cycle into high gear. It's referred to as a termination event, according to physicists from the National Center for Atmospheric Research. The concept of a termination event is something that many researchers had previously never heard of because it is relatively new in solar physics. But this is what could conceivably happen during entry into the next solar cycle. Vast bands of magnetism are pictured as drifting across the surface of the sun. When the oppositely charged bands collide at the equator, they annihilate, or as you would have it, terminate one another. Keep in mind that since we are referring to magnetism, there is no antimatter involved, and therefore there would be no explosion on the surface. Nevertheless, this is considered to be a significant event because it can kickstart Solar Cycle 25 in an unprecedented manner. It is expected that the Terminator event will happen soon, and when it does, it could produce a solar cycle that rivals all others since record-keeping began. It wasn't long ago that most solar physicists were convinced that Solar Cycle 25 would be weak and anemic, similar to Solar Cycle 24. Models of the Sun's inner dynamic mechanisms never included the concept of terminators. But something has changed, and so has the reasoning of some solar physicists. In a December 2020 paper published by the research journal Solar Physics, scientists looked back over the last 270 years of sunspot data and found that terminator events divide one solar cycle from the next, happening approximately every 11 years. But the emphasis was placed entirely on the approximate timeline, as shown in the blue dashed lines that represent the magnetic activity termination times that trigger the rapid growth of sunspot activity. The interval between terminators actually ranges from 10 to 15 years, which is key to predicting the solar cycle. If the period of time between terminators is longer than the usual time frame of 11 years, the weaker the next cycle will be. On the other hand, the shorter the time frame between terminators, the stronger the next solar cycle will become. An example of the termination timeline can be found in solar cycle number 4, which began with a terminator back in the year 1786 and ended with a terminator in 1801. This cycle lasted an unprecedented 15 years. In contrast, Solar Cycle 5, which began in 1802, was incredibly weak, with a peak period of 82 sunspots. That cycle occurred during what is known as the Dalton Grand Minimum. There was also Sunspot Cycle 23 that began in the year 1998 and ended 13 years later in 2011. Solar Cycle 24, which is just ending, was not only a weak cycle, but a shortened one, lasting just shy of 11 years. The law of averages would tell you that Sunspot Cycle 25 should be much stronger since it is coming on the heels of a weak and very short cycle. Previous cycles with shortened intervals similar to cycle 24 have been among the strongest in recorded history, but cycle 24 defied the averages, being among the weakest of all time. Once you identify the termination pattern in the historical data, it becomes more obvious. A weakened sunspot cycle 25, which has been predicted, would in practical terms become an outlier from everything that the records has shown up until this time. Not all scientists are in agreement when it comes to predicting how solar cycle 25 will behave. The data provides a blueprint for future predictions, but it cannot foretell the unexpected. 
if the termination event happens soon, as some researchers have stated, whereby we see a skyrocketing of Solar Cycle 25 activity, then there may be more to the story in the near term. So stay tuned. The strongest solar flare in the past four years erupted from the sun's upper limb on July the 3rd, hitting the Earth's atmosphere within eight minutes. An explosion from a new sunspot region produced a strong X-class flare, the first of Solar Cycle 25. A blast of X-rays traveled towards the Earth at the speed of light, colliding with the upper atmosphere and causing a shortwave radio blackout over the Atlantic and coastal regions. The map indicates the area where radio operators noticed the interruption, beginning at around 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on July the 3rd. The sunspot that produced the X-class flare appeared suddenly, which certainly highlights the unpredictability of solar activity. The sunspot in this situation was on the edge of the sun's surface, and therefore the coronal mass ejection avoided a direct contact with the Earth. X-class flares are the brightest and the largest solar flares, and this was the first X-flare of cycle 25, which began in December of 2019. As I indicated earlier, the Sun undergoes an approximate 11-year activity cycle, where it swells to a peak in the middle of the cycle and then begins its descent towards a so-called termination point. The cycle then repeats. The first major flare of this young solar cycle could be an indicator or a warning that even more powerful flares are on the way in the coming months and years. Keep in mind, as I have stated in earlier videos on this subject, powerful flares and coronal mass ejections have caused widespread power outages and communication blackouts dating back to 1859, whereas Carrington level events such as the July 2012 solar superstorm barely missed a catastrophic encounter with the Earth. Events comparable to 2012 have a higher probability rate of taking place than being hit by an asteroid. And this is why there is some concern that we may be headed towards another solar superstorm which could likely cause unprecedented damage or destruction to ground-based power grids, as well as causing severe disruption to satellites in orbit, along with ground systems that rely on satellite communications. The sky above Idaho was on fire on Independence Day, but it wasn't from the usual fireworks display. A bright meteor fireball changed night into day. Numerous reports were received by the American Meteor Society from across seven western states at approximately 10.52 p.m. Mountain Time on July the 3rd. At the center of our solar system is the Sun, that bright star that brings back light and life to warm our bodies and to refresh our souls. Its energy penetrates every crevice of our existence and sheds its equal rays upon all living things. Stay safe everyone, thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.